Hello trainers, Ganeto here, Great League is back and the weather is rainy, no more sunny weather in Greece. So with that in mind trainers, we are diving together into Great League for the first time after a long time and those really uh, four weeks that just passed away, well we had Ultra League, we had Master League, Master Premier Classic, all those not our favorite stuff and we're gonna focus now on Great League, got it, got it. Medic up on the lead, followed up by Trevenant, and of course Whiskas as a safe switch. I really like Whiskas for the meta, especially with Toxapex around, a lot of Drapions as well on the safe switch option, and the meta is full of those Bastardons and Galarian Stunfisks, and of course Registils, but uh, Whiskas can counter all those stuff, and of course you have access to a move like Blizzard to nook down those safe picks that might be at the back and are part grass like the Venusaurs and uh, Trevenant, which is gonna be the king of the meta to be honest, and we're gonna have a Trevenant on our team as well because it works really well with this line as a closer. Medicham will lead the team with counter psychic and ice punch, a really nice pick to use, and even against its counters, Salon Ninetales, Azumarils, or even uh, Jellicent and Skarmoris, you still have a chance to beat all those Pokemon down in the end game if you rotate properly with this line. So now trainers, let's dive into the first battle. We start off with the Medjam facing the Jellicent, worst possible lead scenario, we're gonna be able to switch out to the Whiskas after we farm a little bit of counters and now we're gonna see the Shadow Ball connecting to our Whiskas, however at the back there is gonna be a Grass type which is really good for us right now because we can land that big blizzard, look at the damage! Absolutely wonderful to observe and now they have to go for the weather ball to finish us off We're well, just gonna go with the shield here I think it was worth the shield since it was gonna be a CMP and mad bomb was already pressed So we could take a shield for sure out of them uh, So in the process we get farmed down and at this point one counter passes through able to finish off the Aboma Snow Energy ball can be taken at this point because they have gel a jelly sand and medicine is completely useless So we're gonna go here with the Trevenant able to go with the shield ball However, they catch on the Toxic Rock and things aren't looking that, that well. I'm gonna go now with the Shadow Ball, expect them to uh, expect a Seed Bomb, but this is not gonna happen at all. Uh, so they're gonna block the big move, very good block for them. Gonna go with a Sludge Bomb, I'm just gonna block and because they went for the Sludge Bomb, I was like, you know what, this cannot be another Sludge Bomb, just a Mad Bomb. We can take the next move, farm down, finish off with the Shadow Ball. The plan is perfect, the plan is gonna be executed completely good and we're gonna grab this victory into the next one now against the nine tails with charm with charm worst possible scenario once again we're gonna switch out to our uh whiskas and we're gonna see now we're gonna meet up with the swambert they are getting hit by the wonderful blizzard down goes a nice chunk out of the swambert earthquake is gonna connect exchanging nuke moves here down we go to the earthquake i was expecting hydro cannon and then survive but that was not gonna happen they have the nine tails which really turns into the battle against our Medicham, so we have to go now with the Psychic, the big move. Are they gonna expect it? Are they gonna take it? Yes, they are gonna take it! So now Trevenant can come in, they have the Stunfisk at the back, so we found once again our Wincon. Before, we had a horrible lead against Jellicent, horrible switch against Grass-type, but we won in the end. Here as well, we have a horrible lead, a bad switch, not horrible uh, switch, against the Swambert, we're gonna lose it, we lost it, and then Trevenant is able to sweep once again so you're seeing that uh, this team is absolutely amazing even against bad leads you have a lot to expect from your team against a good lead now let's see how this can unfold so we want the bad leads we can win the good leads right well hold on uh, on your stack a little bit because we have one clear weakness which we're gonna see in a while uh, so here, uh, Sebelai on the switch, we're gonna bring our uh, Pokemon, our Whiskas into the battle. Gonna go with back-to-back -back Mad Bombs, able to take at least one shield out of them, I believe, because we are already there at the two Mad Bombs. So here comes the second one, they're gonna block and we have the third one already ready to go. Uh, gonna be able to take two of them shields out of the way, not gonna be able to finish off with, the, with that final uh, mad bomb, so we're gonna be able to farm down now with our uh, Medicham the Sebelai, which is always good, I'm not gonna spend the shield at all, just gonna rely on my Trevenant to close the match as always. However, they have the Noctowl and here is a clear weakness of the team, a Blizzard is not enough to finish this Pokemon, Ice Punch are, are also not enough to finish this Pokemon, and of course Trevenant is gonna be on a very bad spot overall. 
Uh, so eventually we're gonna get this loss, we're gonna leave out of the fight and we're gonna focus now into the next one against an Altari upon the lead. Ice Punch is gonna do all the work you need against the Flyer. This Medjam really has a, an answer. Well, knocked out before, we did not have enough HP to contest that win, but it was a really good fight, right? We're gonna go now with that uh, Ice Punch, able to take a shield out of them and because we are getting super close to an Ice Punch, perhaps I should have blocked here, but to be honest, I didn't want to because with Altario out of the way I think that they have no other answer to the Trevenant so we're gonna see now Trevenant coming in trying to farm down Altaria however they go to the switch to the psychic type are you kidding me this is wonderful I just have to block here correctly the psycho boost and even if they go with another psycho boost this time it's gonna be extremely bad since they are getting super debuffed and we're gonna be able to take not one but two more psycho boosts on our Trevenant without spending a shield which is awesome not being at the red as well gonna be able to farm down the oxys they have the altaria which comes in i'm just gonna go here for the bad move the shadow ball that was not needed at all and they have the red still at the back so i'm just gonna go now with the shadow ball my plan is to bring the whiskers and i suspect they're gonna get out of the fight which happens and we're gonna take this victory a very good lead we finally catch a break against an obstagoon so now we have to switch out to our whiskers because they bring it to the fight a poison type and not uh, uh, a way a weird, a weird uh, poison type, but Tox Apex, which is gonna be pretty meta to be honest. We have now the Mad Bomb able to chunk a really nice uh, amount out of the total HP of Tox Apex. Tox Apex being a completely uh, heavily uh, defensive Pokemon, uh, much like a Deoxys form, and it can take the hits as you can see. So even super effective, it can take them. So we're gonna go with another Mad Bomb right now. We're gonna be able to take out uh, Tox Apex and still gonna be able to reach to the Blizzard and trainers boom gonna take a nice chunk out of the obstacle already at the three blizzards are you kidding me they have now that nine kills i'm expecting a seal just gonna go with the ice punch however my opponent knows better they have now the time to go with the move with the weather ball while they absorbed that ice punch which was a bad choice overall by my part should have gone there for the psychic gonna be able now to go for the seed bomb able to deal some really nice damage to others shields they have one more shield to spare are they gonna use it yes they are what is there at the back they're gonna farm us down but right now what i want to do here is to completely farm down with my medicham we will try to go ahead and seal the weather ball down goes nine tails what is at the back of course the obstacle so we're gonna go now for the complete farm down here nightless is gonna connect not gonna go for the move for some weird reason i was counting the move so they could not reach i believe to a double night slash so we're gonna take this big Victory. Abrin to the next one, kinda good for us. We do not run a power up so it can get really close, but uh, overall, we're gonna see now that they have a poison type at the back and our, uh, and our whiskers. And uh, I can do all the work here. They are gonna block. That was weird to observe. So we have to go now for another mad bomb. They are gonna take it and survive with one HP in the dream. Is this gonna be enough? No, it is not. We hold on to our very bad IVs here with the whiskers, and we're gonna get this uh, sweet chin matchup. And that was really cool for us because now we have the upper hand here. Trevenant is gonna be paired with that uh, uh, Drapion. So now my Trevenant is gonna be able to go with a shadow ball they're gonna absorb it with that Umbreon and uh, we're gonna be able to switch out to the Medjam Medjam here has the upper hand especially with the ice punches so perhaps you can see that it has the upper punch uh, oh my goodness my punch get worse and worse every video uh, that I upload anyways uh, so we're gonna see now uh, the Psyche connecting on our Pokemon we have to farm down here we cannot fall play is gonna be able to chunk a nice uh, sealed out of fast so now we have some energy to spare they have one sealed we have to play accordingly they are gonna block the first one are you kidding me we will try to catch a potential crunch on aqua tail here it is on that trevenant and now we have cleared the debuff we have to go now for the ice punch this is not gonna deal enough damage we know it but now the psychic might be enough to finish off the entire hp out of the drapion no it is not done we got at the same time what an energy from this battle and we're gonna I get a very nice draw here i'm gonna take it i'm gonna take it 
into the next one now against a fairy wind monster, Jumbluff, which is gonna be pretty well overall. Uh, you're seeing that Jumbluff uh, is also shredding apart our uh, Mendelsam over here with the acrobatics. Just gonna go right straight ahead for the Ice Punch after the acrobatics, however, it was not a CMP, so we're gonna get uh, destroyed down since they have the lantern and uh, they're gonna be able to absorb that Ice Punch. And now we have to go ahead and switch out to our Trevenant. They have Water Gun, things are looking kinda well for us, but to be honest, I do not want to spend another shield here, actually a shield at all. So I'm just gonna go now for the Seed Bomb, able to finish off the lantern with that final one, not gonna be able to reach to the final surf to finish us off. So Jumbluff returns to the battle, we're gonna be able to block here and try to go for some Shadow Balls. We have one Shadow Ball ready to go, I know that they have to throw one move if they want to finish us off. We have still enough HP left on our Pokemon, so even if they reach the move, I don't know if I'm gonna block or not. So at that final second I was like, let's block here, let's see how they react to my block. They have the Stamfisk at the back and this is a line that I'm pretty sure you have already seen at the past with Jumbluff and Stamfisk. Fisk at the back, uh, the, those two Pokemon really work well with each other, so we can take now the Earthquake and we have a lot of energy to spare here, especially with the Mud Bombs being such a huge spammy move, we're gonna be able to take out their shield, they're gonna reach to another move, another Earthquake, how did they destroy us down like this, uh, like this? so now we can go with a Seed Bomb, however they stand no chance at all, down goes Tanfisk, we are already there at the Shadow Ball, FPS drop there we also over farm without any reason gonna be able to finish off jump bluff and grab for us a very nice victory another bad lead another dead gpl against another flyer altaria but hopefully we got ice punch you saw how that worked well for us before but now it is gonna work a little bit better because i think they're getting a little bit greedy here gonna throw the cmp and we managed to go ahead and use the ice punch number two before they even use their move which means now that we can take the move we took a shield in the process, we did not shield at all and uh, we're gonna be able to completely farm down with Trevenant. Uh, with Altaria out of the way, most probably they do not have another answer to our Trevenant here. So I'm just gonna go now for the Shadow Ball, gonna deal a lot of damage to the Registeel and I'm pretty sure I can survive one sub cannon here while delivering another uh, Shadow Ball in the process. Uh, so they are already at the red, just gonna fire off another Shadow Ball here, let's see how they react, because I think they are gonna return with the Altaria, we have to go ahead and throw the Seed Bomb, just remember that they just debuffed us with that uh, Zap Cannon, they have a Lantern, we have a Whiskas, and battlers, things are looking pretty well for us. Look at Whiskas dealing so much damage, so much work against the Lantern. I think they're gonna see that Surf does barely enough damage to put us at 50%, so they're just gonna be able to destroy themselves down with that final matchup. Into the next one now against a Razor Leaf Tropius. Whenever I see this Pokemon up on the lead, I'm like, okay, there has to be something like a Bastion on the back. Uh, this is gonna be a Grassle team, so it is always nice to see um, this team a team team in total to go pretty well against Grassle as well. So here it is trainers, Medicham, Trevenant, Whiskas line, absolutely amazing. Gonna go down the process here against that uh, Tropius, but I think they are getting really cocky. They're gonna have now the stunks at the back, so perhaps that is gonna be a double steal. So we're gonna have now our uh, Trevenant here, gonna be able to go with that Shadow Ball, and we are having a very good team against Tanfisk in total, which is gonna be a really huge asset for this line. Gonna be be able to block that uh, rock slide we have now the time to go for the seed bombs are they gonna block no they are not down goes Tanfisk Bazadon comes into the fight and we're gonna go now with that shadow ball what I want to do here is to make them shield at least once if we can do that correctly well we can perhaps finish them off with the whiskas so this is my final chance here they are gonna block are you kidding me whiskas comes into the fight now even if they come back with the tropius we are gonna be able to win the entire thing all I have to do here is to absorb all those stone edges that they are gonna throw and then try to use the blizzard on that Tropius while keeping the shield for a potential leaf blade. Here is the shield on the Tropius, we have to immediately finish it off because Razor Leaf really shreds us apart. Down goes this Tropius, we have the time now to go for the Mad Bomb, able to finish off with Whiskas, are you kidding me? We totally read them down correctly and we're gonna grab for us a very nice and well-around victory. 
into the next one and the final one for the video battlers against the Mercha Mirror. Well, this can get tricky and this is why I prefer those IVs on my Medjam. This is not a rank 1 Medjam, it's gonna be a rank 3 I believe, but I like that extra uh, amount of attacks that, that my Medjam has because everyone out there is running a rank 1 Medjam for some reason, uh, so my Medjam having that extra attack boost is gonna be always nice for that CMP. Gonna go now with a Psychic against the opposing Medjam. They are gonna take it and look at that battlers, we are gonna go down, but who cares at this point, we can go in with a Trevenant, able to shield once and completely farm down, are you kidding me, what are you doing Ganeto, no shield at all, okay, I'm just gonna go ahead and over farm here, then bring out my Whiskas, and here is the Justice to America, the Justice to Whiskas, we are gonna be able to go ahead and absorb all the damage that Bastion can throw at us, over farming a lot, and I know that they have that that uh, medicine which is gonna return by the way so I have to throw at least one madam to finish it off uh, we're gonna go ahead and block the stone edge here because we were getting kind of low I'm trying to over farm a little bit as well, but that was perhaps a bad play We're both even on shields. They have the medicine which comes in and we have the time to go here for the mad bomb They are gonna take it at the back lies Just a stun visk and we're gonna be able to take this victory with our whiskers What a crazy battle that was and we're gonna get the victory eventually So that's all trainers. Thank you for watching. Thank you for staying till the end Just be sure to hit a, a huge like before you Go, subscribe to the channel if you are new around here if you already haven't because more videos like this are more likely to happen on my channel so with that in my trainers thank you for watching and i hope to see you all into the next one the care trainers